Oh, episode 20, welcome to the video, the final episode in the 2020 prep. Oh, 25 past 5, you know I'm no stranger to this time of the day, but for some reason I'm wrecked. I think it's a combination of like the build up and the fact that it's finally here. I'm just ready to crash. It's been a long time coming, so very tired, boy. Very tired. So I was going to start this last night, getting some tan done. But between sorting food, finishing off some work, tidying the kitchen, making sure everything's done, it was like I can't be bothered doing this as well. We'll start it in the morning. So here we are. So the plan is to leave in like five minutes. Once I've recorded this clip, it's going to take me three hours to get to Nottingham, where Bailey Studio is. I'm limiting water intake, not completely, I'm not cutting water out, but I am not going to be doing my usual on the trips up north, which would be a can of rain, a coffee, a bottle of water. I'll probably just get a 500ml bottle of water and just sip on that throughout the morning. Um, I've got a meal to eat, which I'll show you on the way up there, which I'll probably get down me about seven-ish, just so it gives me like a two-hour window for it to digest. I'm really conscious about that today. After two days of like higher carbs than I've been having, the 6.50, and then yesterday, going to bed last night, I was like, how am I gonna look in the morning? Because I feel horrendous. Um, but I woke up this morning, I'm quite tight. I don't want to retain that tightness. We're going to get the food in early and then let it digest and by the time I shoot, we should be good to go. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for the support throughout this series. It's been, uh, it's been really great to see. And uh, I'm just quite happy that it's coming to an end, in all honesty. It's been long, trying to juggle everything. You guys know, if you've followed along, you know what I've been trying to do as well as obtain this goal that I've had so thank you for watching enjoy the video and I'm gonna get on the road I think you need to see them next to each other right because well, it depends how much size Hunter will be giving up it, it, well it would depend on how conditioned Nick is oh right it's still friggin dark been on the road hour and a half just getting this meal in it's uh, seven o'clock dead on so I thought let's just get it in so it can settle, as I said earlier, I'm really conscious about my digestion today, so... The meal of choice, which Cuba told me last night, is one whole bagel, which is here. 10 grams of butter has been added, I've toasted them. Obviously I'm on the road, so I can't have it warm, which is a bitch, but it is what it is. And then I've also got 150 grams of rump steak, which I cooked up last night with a little bit of ketchup. He has also given me a uh, Rice Krispie Square Bar tweet, which I'm probably gonna eat that closer to the shoot. Obviously with the simple sugars that it's got in there. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna eat that with this meal. I don't wanna overload the, uh, the stomach too much. So I'll eat this now, which is seven o'clock. And then I'll get that crispy bar down me about probably about half eight. And then the shoot is at half nine. So that would give it enough time, I'm hoping, for it to uh, to go through. So I'm gonna tuck into this. A bit of salt, as you know. I'm also listening to the new Fuad podcast, which came out yesterday. And like when I'm cooking my meals, normally I'll have a podcast on, but I knew this drive was coming up. I knew how tired I was feeling. I was like, I cannot be stressing about what I'm gonna to listen to on the journey. So I kept it for today. Guy Sistino and Nick Walker on this one. So eat this, listen to a bit more of that, and get back on the road, peeps. How mics out. <laughs> Craig is moonlighting as videographer slash oiler today. He's gonna to jump on and uh, oil me up. So we're at Bailey Studio in Nottingham. Mr. Bailey, what's the plan, mate? Just gonna bag it. Blag it. 
<laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> see well, what you look like. You haven't had your shirt off yet. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. Craig said that uh, you could full chop if I'm not being shit. So Craig's going to get some footage behind the scenes um, and then we'll just see how it goes. So get the oil out. Nervous? Nah. <laughs> it's pretty chill, isn't it? To be fair. Especially because I know you both. <laughs> more peeled. Uh, dopeness. <laughs> dopeness. Fire. <laughs> My name sound like nails on a chalkboard. Hit you harder than the darts on a dartboard. Damn it, man, I'm creepy like candy man in a pair of hammer pants with a hammer in his hand. Say what you want, say what you wish, but say my name and it sound like you breaking a dish. Say my name in a whisper like you making a wish. You said my name in the crowd like you afraid I exist. Say my name and it feel like you peeling off a scab that ain't really even healed yet. I don't even fear threats. I don't really feel what they feel when they fear shit. I feel like the pain at a funeral when tears strip. Hey. Yo. We are done. Shoot with done? Sh with shoot number one, we are done. I shall be seeing you Monday now, is it? Is it Monday, yeah? Shoot Monday. Hope so. But uh, obviously I'm working this weekend now in London for two bros. So not that I'm going to binge, because, well, you know what it's like filming for two bros. Do about <laughs> 15,000 steps. So activity will be high. They'll have meal prep, food on sale down there. So I'll just grab like three of those a day and then maybe have something in the night but I'm done now I'm done was I happy with today? <laughs> I don't know because obviously we filled up the last two days it was a lot softer I wouldn't, wouldn't say like watery it was just fuller and softer than I've been when I've been waking up obviously my lowest weight in the morning so it fucks with the head a little bit but Bailey said he can he can do something with it <laughs> and you've seen what it looked like so you said it looked all right so yes mate we'll see thank you Bailey very welcome boss we're uh we're just wrapping up and I'm down with Gus on Monday so I'm gonna try and stay somewhat uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. yeah so thank you for that bro appreciate welcome. it Covid yeah cut that out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's a few weeks later, as you can probably tell from the shape of the face. A little bit of weight's been put back on, just a little bit, maybe a bit more. Um, but the video shoot did not happen in the end, unfortunately. I am gutted about it. There's a few reasons why. The first one is COVID, <laughs> simple as. The gym we planned to shoot at, Modified Fitness in Chester, they were closed on a local lockdown. So we moved it to a different gym, and then I kind of looked at my timeline, my diary and throughout everything from the shoot with Bailey right through that weekend to going to Alicante and getting home there was one day, not even a day, like half a day that I was going to be home to see the family and I didn't even realise that I was so focused on the prep, work, getting the shoot done then obviously going to Alicante it wasn't until the missus voiced her opinion and I was like, you're right, you're 100% right I need to sort the shit out. And there was nothing I could move. Alicante is there. The Ben Weeder in London's there. That's all work. The shoot with Bailey was there. The only thing that I had flexibility with moving or cancelling was the video shoot on the Monday. And unfortunately, I had to let Gus down. We've spoke about it. It's all good. Uh, we have plans in place for something else. So I had to cancel the video shoot on the Monday um, to be home because it was like a choice between getting a video shoot done for myself or being home to spend one extra day with the family in between all that madness. So that's what I had to do. Um, and morally, that's what I would normally do, but you get sucked right into prep. That's the reality of it. You kind of just get selfish. And I never wanted to get to that point, but I did. I was probably a different person at home. It is what it is. Me and the missus have spoke about it. She's gonna hate me calling her missus, by the way. But yeah, it's, I was a different person towards the end of that prep. My last couple of weeks was, I crawled through it. Um, the photo shoot went okay. Obviously you've seen the behind the scenes edit that I've knocked up. I've had a couple of pictures back from Bailey. Pictures are cool. 
how I looked, not happy. And that's not on Cuba, that's on me. Because I believe I was probably in better condition 10 days prior to the shoot. And I think I let stress get to me. Especially with all that, you know, with the issues with being home, being away too much. I think it really, really got to me. And uh, whether it's to do with cortisol levels rising, I'm not sure. But uh, the condition definitely faded for the shoot. Um, progression in terms of like muscle up built, I'm well happy, over the moon. Uh, and the plan is in place now to get off season under the way. In terms of weight that I put on after the shoot, I'm not gonna divulge the exact number, but let's just say I was 10 pounds over what I started prep at by the Tuesday, actually by the Monday, six days from my lowest weight, which was the Tuesday before the shoot, to the Monday after the shoot, it was heavy. Um, so we went to Alicante, obviously being around pro bodybuilders was easy to get back on plan, dropped a lot of water, got back to an, a reasonable level in terms of body composition. I'm kind of just feeling my feet now. I've relaxed it a little bit, obviously. I didn't see the family, so when I got back from Alicante, I literally took the week off, didn't think about meal prep, eating clean. It was just like, what do you want to eat? Let's just do it. Um, if I want the chocolate, I was eating chocolate. Now, um, I'm just trying to get structure back in. Obviously, I'm on road, I'm not home right now. I'm in a hotel room in Manchester, got work to do. Um, I am back on meal prep, I've got the meals in the car. So it's just getting back into it and then we start off season. The plan is, I've announced on Instagram, is to do an off season series, at least one video a month, depending on the diary, I'll do more. But yeah, that's it for the 2020 prep. I just wanted to wrap it up because I've had a few people asking in person and on Instagram when's the, the last episode because I was on point for 19 episodes every Monday, 6 a.m. And now it's been like three weeks and I'm dropping this on a Wednesday morning. So apologies for all those uh, OCDs out there because I'm, I'm one of those, but work has had to come first. So that's it for the 2020 prep. I really, really want to thank everyone that's watched, supported, messaged, shared, all that jazz. Uh, the YouTube subscribers have actually jumped up quite a lot. Um, and I've noticed a big jump in the interaction as well. So thank you to everyone that's followed along. Please give it a like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you in the new series in a few weeks. Peace.